Hi everyone, this is Shrinking Kathy here. Welcome to my week three Optifast. Um, I'm actually a day early because I'm flying out to Toronto tomorrow morning, so I won't have time to do this tomorrow morning. So anyway, let's get going. Um, my stats, I am 52 years old. My starting weight was 304 pounds, and that was on January the 10th, um, three weeks ago. And my current weight is, as of this morning, 281 pounds. So I have lost 23 pounds in my three weeks of OptiFast. Now, I don't know if it's going to go down another pound tomorrow morning or not. If it does, that's great. Um, if not, that's fine too. 23 pounds is awesome for three weeks, and I'm really, really pleased. And I'm almost out of the 280s, and that's unbelievable. Anyway, um... I thought that was really great. My biggest um, weight loss was week two. Um, week two, I lost something like 19.2 pounds um, altogether, and I think it was 13.2 for the week. And week one, I had lost six pounds. So this week wasn't as big as a loss. I went from 284.8 to 281, which is what, 3.8 pounds, almost four pounds which isn't a lot for Optifast, but it's still a lot of weight to lose in a week, and I'm, I'm happy with it. So, um, and you know, you can't lose 10 pounds a week. I wish we could, but not possible. So 23 pounds for three weeks. I'm really pleased. I made it through the Optifast. I just have one more day left. Um, I will have my morning shake tomorrow morning, and probably a chocolate one, because I like chocolate for breakfast. And then I have to get on the plane, so I'll just pack my other three shakes with me. They're just powders. They're in little packets. And I'll just take them with me to Toronto. And I'll be staying at my friend Leslie's, uh, my ex-sister-in-law's. And I'll have my other three there. And tomorrow will officially be my day 21, and it will be finished. Um, I'm having surgery the very next day, the day after tomorrow. I can't believe it. It's already here. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm not coughing as much. I still do have a dry cough. But it's more like a tickle. Um, it's not like my crazy asthma barking cough. So I'm hoping they'll still go ahead and give me my surgery. Um, NSVs, my, my tops are all getting like really loose. These are, this is an older top that I usually wear for pajamas and just for around the house. But um, yeah, it was tight on me when I started this. So that's why I didn't wear it out of the house. And now I could wear these out of the house if I wanted to. They're kind of old and shabby, so I won't. But, um, yeah, my tops. And my tops that did fit perfectly before are, they're, they're like tents on me now. Um, and also I did my measurements at the start of this. And um, I'm down half an inch on my chest area. And I'm down half an inch on my hips. And half an inch on my upper thigh and half an inch on my ankle and my neck is down half an inch as well um my belly button is down one inch that area where you measure just right around your belly button um my left calf for some reason went up by half an inch so i don't know if i'm just retaining water or maybe i didn't measure properly the first time i don't know and um my right upper arm is down by two inches, and my forearm stayed the same. So altogether, I've lost 10 inches since I started. And the biggest, I'm looking at my notes, I apologize. The biggest um, amount of, the highest number for inches was off my waist. I lost 4.5 inches off my waist in three weeks. So that's, that's awesome. And I'm really happy about that. So, and I've noticed my pants, um, I have a pair of pants that they slide right down to my hips now. I wore them. I wore them the other day and I was walking and they just kept falling down. But because I didn't lose very much on my hips, they kind of just snag there. So they don't stay where the waist is, they just go down. So that's just in three weeks. That, that's crazy and wonderful. I'm really happy about it. So guys, this is it. I don't know if I'll have a chance to record tomorrow. I'll, I'll try to. I'm bringing my computer and my tablet with me. But um, I have to be at St. Joseph's Healthcare Center in Toronto on Wednesday morning by 7.30 a.m. So there's no way I'll be able to record anything Wednesday morning. So I might be able to record something tomorrow. Um, 
I might do something on the plane like I did last time. I'm not sure. But I'm just glad that I have my voice back and I'm talking normally and I'm not coughing as much. And yeah, I'm just really excited about it. Um, I hope I'll get the surgery. I hope that when I get there, they'll say you're good to go and they won't cancel because of this cough. When I called them last week and I told them I wasn't feeling good, they said as long as I don't have a fever or a respiratory infection that I still need to come down and they will take a look at me. So I'm hoping that when they take a look at me that they'll say, okay, you're good to go. Um, I'm hardly coughing at all today. Like I said, it's more like a, a tickle, a dry throat. So yeah, I'm really excited. So I've lost a little bit in here. I still have this double chin, but... I'm seeing my normal chin come back, and that feels really great. I apologize, I don't have any makeup on. I have to admit, I'm not a makeup person. I have a little bit of chapstick on, and that's it. Um, I, did I put some mascara on? I might have, just so that my eyes show up. Do I have any? I can't remember. But, um, yeah, I'm not one for much makeup. Maybe that will change later, because I do have rosacea. I mean, when I leave the house, I'll put a little bit of cover-up on to cover the redness. But at home, I don't, I don't bother, so I hope you guys don't mind me showing up au naturel. At least I'm not in my house coat today. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Every day when I see there's a few more subscribers, I'm so happy. You have no idea. I get these little notifications, and people are commenting on my videos. And thank you so much for everyone who's commented and for the well wishes. And I am feeling better. Thank you. Um... So yeah, that's it. I guess I don't have anything more. The phone's ringing. I better get that. I hope you all take care, and I'll see you all soon. Love you. Bye.